Hi friends! Welcome to Get Your Play Online's Try It Out Tuesday. I'm Lindy and today we are going to be doing a super fun winter science experiment called Expanding Snowman. We are going to be creating a chemical reaction and seeing if we can use it to make our snowman grow bigger. Let's get started! To create our expanding snowman, we are going to need Ziploc bags, and you can use the small ones or the big ones, a black Sharpie marker, Alka-Seltzer tablets, and if you have an orange Sharpie marker, that would be great to make the nose, but if not, we can use orange paper and scissors and either tape or glue dots. Let's make the snowman's face. If your baggie has white letters on it like mine did, you're gonna to wanna to flip it to the back side to the side there aren't any letters. Now we're gonna use our Sharpie to make some eyes. So you're gonna draw two circles towards the top of the bag and color them in. Now let's make the smiley face. So we're going to make smaller circles in a smiley face shape towards the bottom of the bag. And go ahead and color those circles in also. Now if you have an orange Sharpie, then you can go ahead and create a nose for your snowman with your orange Sharpie. I don't have an orange Sharpie, so I'm going to be using paper instead. I'm going to draw what looks almost like a carrot or a triangle shape on my paper. Then I'm going to use my scissors to cut out my nose shape. Using tape or a glue dot, stick your snowman's nose onto the bag. Now we need some snow for our snowman's body. If you live somewhere where it's snowing, you can go outside and get some snow from outside. If you don't live somewhere where it snowed, you can make some using the ice in your freezer and a blender. You can also just use ice if you don't have a blender. Fill your snowman up with your snow or your ice. You're going to unzip your baggie and I found that the easiest way to do it without making a mess is use a spoon and you're going to fill up your spoon and put it in the baggie instead of trying to dump it from the blender because that sort of makes a mess. You can also make sure that you have it over a plate or do it outside if it's not too cold. Alka-Seltzer tablets are made up of a citric acid, which is an acid, and baking soda, which is a base. When acids and bases mix together, a chemical reaction is formed. Because our Alka-Seltzer is dry, they aren't mixing right now. But let's watch an example of when they do mix together. Here, I have baking soda, which is a base, and vinegar, which is our acid. Let's see what happens when we mix them together. Wow, look at that. This chemical reaction is forming carbon dioxide gas. That's all those bubbles you see. Isn't that so cool? Now that we've seen an example, what do you think will happen when the acid and the base in the Alka-Seltzer gets wet in our snowman? Let's find out. Now we're finally ready to put our Alka-Seltzer tablet inside of our snowman's body. Unzip the snowman and place the Alka-Seltzer inside in the snow or the ice. 
and re-zip it. You're going to want to put your snowman on a plate or in a bowl just in case it leaks so it doesn't make a mess. We're going to check on our snowman in about 30 to 60 minutes to see what happened when the Alka-Seltzer was in the snowman and see if your guess about what happens when it gets wet is right. But before we do, make sure to look and observe the snowman and see what you see so that we can compare it when we come back. I'm back an hour later to check on our snowman. What do you notice about our snowman? Do you see anything different than when we left before? It looks like the ice has melted and our snowman looks bigger and the baggie looks fuller. That means that our acid and our base from the Alka-Seltzer got wet when the snowman melted and a chemical reaction was formed. The carbon dioxide gas has filled up the baggie and expanded our snowman. How cool is that? Our snowman was full of cold snow. I wonder if our snowman was filled up with warm water, what would happen? Do you think our snowman would still expand and get bigger? Would it happen faster or do you think it would happen slower? Let's try it and find out. Fill up a cup with warm water from your kitchen sink. We are going to add the water to our snowman bag. So open up your baggie and pour in the water. Then we're going to grab an Alka-Seltzer so that we can add it to our bag. Before we add it to the bag, let's make sure that we really observe what our snowman looks like with the warm water inside so that we can notice what the differences might be after we add our Alka-Seltzer tablet. Go ahead and add the tablet and close the bag and then we're going to want to make sure to put our baggie onto a plate or a bowl so that if it leaks it won't make a mess. Do you notice anything happening inside of our snowman? Even though we just put the Alka-Seltzer in a few seconds ago, it looks like something is already happening. It looks like our baggie is expanding. Our snowman is already getting bigger. Check out our snowman. It's only been one minute since I added the Alka-Seltzer tablet to the warm water, but look how big our snowman has gotten. After just one minute, the carbon dioxide gas from our chemical reaction has filled up our baggie so much and expanded our snowman so much that it looks like the baggie could almost pop. Today, when doing our science experiment, we found that when the Alka-Seltzer got wet, the acid and the base mixed together, creating a chemical reaction that makes the snowman get bigger. We also found that this happened much faster with the warm water than with snow. I hope that you had fun using science to create an expanding snowman with me today. I would love to see what your expanding snowman turned out like. So make sure to tag Get Your Play Online with a picture so that I can check it out. I'll see you next time on Try It Out Tuesdays. Bye friends.